Hey guys, so I'm here to do a general love reading. This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, these readings are general. They're for the collective, so if something here doesn't resonate, I want you to just leave it behind for someone who needs to hear it. And remember that there is no gender in tarot. I'll pull two separate energies. The first I'll call your energy. The second should be the person on your mind. But if they fit better in the opposite, just go ahead and switch sides. And the same goes for cross watchers. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I did change channels, guys, so this is the only place I'll upload content, so you'll have to subscribe here if you want notifications. If you need to book a private personal reading or any other service, all that information is in the description below and in the pinned section of the comments. So I will start with you and your person's current energies, and we will work into the next couple of days and see what's happening. Yeah, please have the energy for Pisces and Pisces. Okay, we have unrequited love. There's not enough chemistry or romance to keep this relationship going. is the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, yeah, the Three of Cups, Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Wheel of Fortune, Aries Scorpio, the Two of Wands, Page of Swords, Six of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and at the bottom of the deck I have the Page of Wands. I feel like in a situation you were just more committed than some, someone else. Um, I don't know. I feel like there was like this fantasy that perhaps like things would be reconcilable or things would get to a level of commitment, but I feel we've closed out that thought process because it's like we're recognizing our worth. And I feel like here we're choosing ourselves. It's like we learned a little lesson here from this person and it's time to move forward and emotionally detach from this and kind of get out there. You know, the page of wands is like flirty and fun. So you have other options here, you know? So I feel like we're getting ready to pursue that. But there was someone here that there was like that, you know, like marriage fantasy with. This person we have the Four of Swords, Queen of Cups, Water Energy, Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles, the Sun, it's Leo Energy, the Ten of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, Judgment. Scorpio energy, Three of Pentacles, the Empress, Libra Taurus, and at the bottom of the deck I have the Tower, more Scorpio energy.
I feel like this person is keeping their distance because they might have fucked around and found out. It looks like they snuck off, but wherever they snuck off to, snuck off on them. It's like they're just not realizing that they're part of like a, a third party situation here. They can't believe this shit. <laughs> Ouch. Most likely outcome we have temperance sagittarius energy the ace of swords the fool aquarius energy the nine of cups the king of pentacles the lovers gemini energy chariot cancer energy the page of cups the Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, at the bottom of the deck I have the Queen of Wands. This is a karmic balance out. I feel like this truth is helping you to move forward. It's like, I feel like perhaps this person is being exposed for their sneakiness. Like you find out now that they kind of had somebody else and that's what all the chaos was about, you know, and the confusion. But it's like, now that the truth is out, everything's Gucci on your end. You're just ready to move forward to happiness. Again, the self-worth energy. And I do feel like there is love coming in for you. This Queen of Wands energy. I don't know, I just see healing, moving forward, and bumping right into something new. It's like the end of your troubles here. This is like the, the last round of a karmic cycle. It's completely closed and, you know, page of wands, queen of wands. You're talking to somebody that you're really attracted to here. And the advice we have the moon, Pisces energy, strength, Leo energy, and the seven of pentacles. Maybe you're afraid to invest in this new person because of what happened here, because it's saying not to be. Yeah. Don't be afraid to put in energy with this new person. Because I feel like now there's like that subconscious fear of it, <laughs> which makes sense. But this is interesting. It's, it's very much like, you know, this person is reaping what they sow, like whether you see it or not. But the sun and the moon are here, so I think you're going to see it. Like you get a front row seat to somebody that hurts you, hurt you's karma. You also get to reject them. And you have new love. Bam. Okay. We have kindness. Take respite by the pond and be kind to yourself and others. And patience. Everything can be accomplished at nature's pace. Yeah, you don't have to move fast with this new person, but you don't have to be afraid to invest either. And I I really see like some major truths coming out and you like really being able to just make peace with the situation and move forward. 
Whoever this Queen of Wands energy is, she's pretty sexy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that is what I have for you guys, and I'll see you soon.